How do you make acrylic ink? Phew! Shin! Ha! Yeah, that's about right. Today we're going to be looking at the Daler Roni FW Acrylic Ink in Noir Color. That is a mouthful and these inks are good and I like them. If that's good enough for you, then you can check out. But if you want to see me put the ink to the test and let me elaborate on why I think this ink is good, then stay tuned. Now this ink comes in a few different forms. I picked up the Inkwell, which on average sells for about eight to nine dollars depending on where you go. I think that's very reasonable for the quality of the ink. And they also sell a refillable one, which this retails for about $20 to $22 depending on where you go. Now this is 6.8 fluid ounces and this is one fluid ounce. So for the price of a little over two of these, you get six of these in this, which I think is very reasonable. Now this is just a normal inkwell, but one detail I like on the packaging, they have a little illustration of everything you can use this with. Airbrushes, paint cans, paint brushes, highlighter, fine liner, and a dip pen. The refills have it too, which is super nice. Besides that awesome detail, the inkwell is pretty standard. Glass with a screwable cap that comes with an eyedropper. Though I have noticed at the end, it's more bubbly than normal inks, and I don't know if that's because it's acrylic ink or if the eyedropper itself is messed up. I had never heard of acrylic inks before this brand. I've used water and alcohol based inks and acrylic paint, but never acrylic ink, so I was really interested. The refillable one comes with a simple little twist knot that you can pull to refill different items with and you can screw it back on. I love how it is a nice point though. It's about the same thickness as the eyedropper, so that's a really nice touch. Now I don't plan on using the entirety of my ink well to do today's illustration and test, but I did want to show that it does have a few options. I even saw one that's a little bigger than this, about that big, and it's more of a dome-shaped inkwell than a traditional inkwell. So that's also an option for you. And as always, we'll be testing our product in the Batman sketchbook. It's tradition at this point. We got our dip pen, let's test it out. That's nice so smooth it goes down true black i love it i love this nip too it's more scratchy but it's so smooth let's try some cross hatching very nice let's try it with a brush oh that's so smooth that is a smooth ink very nice. I like how scratchy it can be when you use the right brush. Like, look at that. I love that. It creates some cool effects and textures. If you remember the video where I tested out 18 fine liners for $5, I did use this ink to finish the illustration. No dip pen, just using a brush, and I, I fell in love with the ink. It is just so nice. I did notice the more I apply it to just a normal paper, the more warped the paper became, it became very almost like water heavy, and I didn't like that. But I believe I have a solution, and we'll be putting this to the ultimate test. I just want to show how black this water becomes, <laughs> just cleaning. This is just one dip from the brush and the dip pen. That water is pure black. Now acrylic paints take forever to dry, and I'm not sure that's going to translate to the actual ink itself. So I'm gonna leave this page open so it doesn't stick, and I'll come back to let you guys know at the end of the video how long it took to dry. To ink this piece, I'm only gonna use the FW ink, the eyedropper, the dip pen with different nibs, this brush, and other brushes with different types of heads, and water to do ink washes. This is also drawn on Bristol board, which takes inks phenomenally well and is thicker, so we shouldn't get any paper warps. With that said, roll the time lapse.
So after doing the illustration, I have to say that this ink makes me want to master the dip pen. And that is the highest honor I can give any art supplies I own, is that it is so good. It is so fun. It is such an amazing piece of my art toolkit that it makes me want to master that field. I've had an interest in getting better with dip pens. This makes me want to master a dip pen. It is a joy to use. It is so smooth. It is so rich. You can do ink washes so easily with it. And other white inks work with it. For example, the Suguru white ink and the Dr. PH Martin bleed proof white ink worked amazing with it. It covered the area perfectly. However, it's not perfect. For example, you could tell we have some serious page warping. And this is Bristol board, which is a lot thicker than normal paper. And it warped the page pretty bad. So that is a negative. So I have to now plan ahead on how I'm going to apply it so that I could prevent this. On top of that, the drying time was a downside. It did take a while to dry. In fact, I was actually pretty sure that this area was fully dry. And then when I went over it with my alcohol marker, you could see this horrible splotching and bleeding. Now, for this illustration, it worked. It's meant to be like a grimy piece. So that worked. However, for other illustrations, that might not work. So I have to plan ahead about how I'm going to color it because I pencil ink and color on the same page. I absolutely love how this piece came out. It came out amazing and it looks so good. As always, this is available on my ArtStation account for a $1 digital download, which does help the channel, and you can check the link in the descriptions down below for my ArtStation store where you can purchase other illustrations of mine. And that is my review of the FW Acrylic Ink Noir Color. I love this ink, I can't recommend it enough, and we will be using this for future projects. In fact, I'm actually going to put this ink right here. So it is always going to be in my little toolkit on the side of my desk. That's how much I like it. It has its permanent home right there. That's how much I recommend it. So let me know what you guys think of the review. Do you like the ink? Do you hate it? What do you think of my illustration? And on top of that, remember, I'm J-Rod at Balbrow Productions and I draw power and my own soul.